The Brisbane Region floods we experienced this year were, I think they used the word unprecedented a number of times in media. A lot of homes received inundation that were not necessarily in a flood impact zone. Unfortunately, a lot of our community were left in a state of panic as it's not something that a lot of residents really expected would impact their homes. It was north side, south side, it was inner city, it really, really covered the whole of Brisbane. There was no escaping the flood. My name's Madison. I am a Acting Fire Communications Supervisor in the Brisbane Region Fire Communications Centre. My role involves answering triple zero calls and conducting all incident management from that point forward. I think we are, as a, as a community, underprepared for natural disasters, definitely. In a natural disaster, you may not be able to access triple zero or phone services. We found a lot of reliance on being able to phone us and ask us for the information, and that was obviously done via phone. It really highlights how reliant we can be on our phone, our internet, our telecommunications connectivity to be able to get those kinds of pieces of information. During a natural disaster, uh, obviously no telecommunications infrastructure is infallible. So if an outage was to occur, emergency services and telecommunications carriers are working very hard to get that infrastructure and those services back online to assist you. If everything else was to go down, you may still be able to get some radio coverage. It would be really, really important for you to be able to listen to weather updates, evacuation centres opening, all that type of thing. A lot of rural property holders also already very successfully use UHF and VHF radio. That's another great option for any community member if they perhaps want to have a redundancy to a phone. Obviously with telecommunications going down as well, you may find there's no more access to ATMs. So it would be really handy to have perhaps some cash stashed away in your little emergency kit. And then a list of contacts and addresses and places of refuge that you may need to draw from. It's really important to listen to that early warning and take those life-saving actions where appropriate. And hey, if you don't have to use your emergency kit and you don't have to follow through with any of those safety plans, then that's great. For more information, visit www.infrastructure.gov.au forward slash stand.